hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks and yeah as you guys can tell by my shirt i hate wet hair i hope y'all know but as you guys read by today's video title we are getting into a like double styler type of styling day um so if you're curious to see what I use, definitely go ahead, hit that subscribe button, join our Kinky Crew fam, and make sure you leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you're new so that I can freshly warm you to our Kinky Crew family. All right, y'all. So this is what my hair is looking like. I did go ahead, um, I pre-pooed today using the Dr. Miracles, and then I just went in with the Kinky Tresses um, shampoo and conditioner and this is what my hair is looking like so yeah that's what my hair is looking like right now so it's a good base and though these two products that i will be using today are stylers they're very moisturizing and they're um, both products that i've tried so like a using up the stash video i guess so um for my leave-in like product today we're going to go in with the cream of nature pure honey moisture whip twisting cream so that is what this looks like my container is all beat up because i've had it for a really really long time yeah 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 i've used this product but i love it um if you're not new around here you know how much i love this product um i i just love it i've used it with leave-ins on top i use it with leave-ins i don't like i use it with leave-ins i do like i can use a spray leave-in i can use it by itself like this product is just one of those versatile products that i love it's on the ground it's affordable i love this product so today we're using this as my leave-in which i don't think i've used it as a leave-in before which is interesting i've had so much product to work with but i've never used it as a leave-in but i have used it as a one and done so and then the second product we're going in with is actually from the same pure honey line this is the moisture and twist curling mousse so that is what this one looks like and i have about a third of the bottle going i actually do have a review on this product as well i did uh i think it was like a perm raw set flexi raw set some time ago some time ago um and to be honest i use this um mousse occasionally it's definitely not my favorite mousse by any means um if you saw my products that i want to use up in 2023 this was on that list it's not that it's a bad product but this mousse is super moisturizing but it doesn't have any hold yeah so i've used this product on curly hair on um like blow dried hair and this product just doesn't have the hold for me so the goal is to either use it up or i'm gonna give it away to somebody else who might like it because for me there's, there's really just no hope all right so that's why i decided to go ahead and use both of these products because i love the twisting cream i love it it's one of those products that i feel like works really well by itself but i think that with the mousse on top i know my hair is at least going to be super moisturized and hopefully this will be a way for me to actually use up the mousse since it's not my favorite product in my stash so what i'm gonna do is i'm going ahead and just section in my hair in half and we're just going to go ahead and apply the twisting cream um so like i said this is a product that i absolutely love it is so freaking moisturizing um my package is all scratched up so i can't even read you guys the directions but this is a really 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 good twisting cream and i feel like it'll be a great leave-in as well and give me sort of a head start on what i'm trying to do with my hair so i'm just getting my hair a bit more wet it's not really like it's not soaking wet but it's definitely a cute little damp and you guys saw that i'm starting to get a hole in this product because I've had it for so long I use it so often so to start out for the leave-in situation I'm going in with about this much it's a cute little glob you know I love the way this line smells this um, pure honey collection has been a line that I really 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 have enjoyed I have used the hair mask which I didn't like that they came out with some like newer edition sort of products as well so I tried the avocado version Mm -mm. but i have tried the leave-in detangler the spray leave-in and the leave-in detangler and i really like both of those as well as i remember the shampoo shampoo being good but i gave that away to one of my cousins or somebody so 
um just gliding this product on it feels amazing like i said the moisture on here is just absolutely insane and then when i go in with the mousse the mousse has a ton of moisture as well like i said it's really just the hold for me with that product but you guys can see that my curls are really coming to life when i apply this product and today i'm actually not going to seal my hair in with any oils or anything just because i don't feel like doing that today <laughs> to be honest um and i think i'm gonna grease my scalp so i may just put some of the grease on the ends while i'm doing that but yeah so for right now i'm just gonna go ahead and apply the leave or the twisting cream as my leave-in um, it's not really much to say. It's performing the way that I expected it to perform. If you're, you know, in a pinch and you need something like real quick, just want to try something inexpensive, you're, you know, just balling on a budget or, you know, stuck on vacation or something and you don't have, you run out of products, whatever. I think that these are fantastic products, especially this, the twisting cream I love. Like I want to repurchase it like as soon as i run out type good because i love it even though y'all know i have 50 million twisting creams this is one that i just i can't see me living without like it's just that good so yeah like i said i'm just going to keep applying this leave-in conditioner just making sure that i have it you know well distributed it's glad and right through it's creamy so it's not you know super super thick but it soaks right into my hair as you guys are seeing it is soaking up in there so yeah i will just be back when it is time to get into the mousse okay guys so i'm back the leave-ins all applied i section my hair um for the braids twist child i don't even know what i'm doing um i might do a twist out i might do a braid out i don't know but um they're a pretty decent size section so this is going to be one here like i said i just love that um twisting butter twisting cream and i'm actually really happy to see it actually getting used up because y'all i've had it for so freaking long and i've gotten so many uses out of it i'm just proud to see that i'm finishing it um but yeah so as you guys can see my curls are defined that's just with the product itself um so yeah i'm really excited so let's talk about this um mousse so it says it's for dry dehydrated hair it's made with pure honey rich coconut oil and then creamy shea butter there's no sulfates petroleum silicones mineral oil or drying alcohols it claims to moisturize and add shine define your curls and waves provide hold and control for twist outs or rod sets we'll see about that with this combo here and then prevents frizz and adds body it says apply to damp or dry hair, um, allow your hair to air dry or diffuse, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just spray my hair down a little bit. Um, with the twisting cream, my hair feels super moisturized, but it could use, you know, a little bit of water because, you know, when you put a mousse on, your hair gets not stiff, but since it's a faster drying product, I want to put it on wet hair so that it molds and shapes the way that i want it so this is what it looks like coming out the pump just a typical mousse you know the big fluffy so i'm gonna do one and a half and see how that works um it's a really soft mousse going in your hands it doesn't feel sticky or you know anything like that it immediately just like all but dissolved in my hair um, so I'm going to grab another pump because where did the product go? I'm going to focus this pump up at my roots and then we're just going to go ahead and start twisting or braiding. But as you guys can see, my curls are definitely starting to get aligned, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So yeah, y'all, and I'm literally just going to go ahead and braid up my hair. Like I said, this mousse is super, super moisturizing it feels really good going on but you know a mousse is kind of hard to you know talk about because it just feels like a mousse going on um the only thing i will say is that this isn't sticky a lot of mousses have that sticky residue situation and this isn't sticky it's, it just feels real smooth but yeah i'm literally just gonna go ahead keep braiding my hair i'm gonna braid it just about all the way down to the bottoms and then for the ends i'll put them in a twist and yeah that is what we are going to do for today's style i expect this to dry relatively quickly because the twisting cream it is like thick 
ish it's thick it's thick and creamy so um and then the mousse on top but yeah so come on hang time but yeah that's literally all i'm going to do with my hair so okay you guys so i'm back and these are my final day one results and they're really big it's a really it's a cute style for sure i definitely love the way my hair looks but um it's real big so i don't think it's gonna make it through the week okay you guys i'm back i'm sorry my camera died um this has been that sort of day where we're just all over the place so i'm sorry if you see a difference in quality i am filming on my phone because this video we need this day to be over with you hear me so yeah like i was saying um i absolutely love this twist and cream it's one of my favorites i scooted the rest of the product on the side so i only have this much left which honestly isn't a lot um but i absolutely love this product it's under ten dollars it always gives me really really good results um and i do like my hair like i said it's just real big like i i could bet bet money that this isn't going to last all week but it is cute for the time being and then um for the second styler that i went in with i went in with the moisture and twist curling mousse it's about halfway ish um i'm not a fan of this product like i think that it's a really moisturizing mousse but it really doesn't have the hold and honestly i feel like it low-key affected the hold of the cream like i said i've used this cream before and i've been able to get days and days and days out of this cream by itself um so yeah i don't really know what the deal is with this mousse but i'm sure that i should be able to get at least one and a half uses of this as a leave-in so i'm hoping to just probably use these two together because i don't like this mousse i do like this so we're just gonna have to kill two birds with one stone here yeah i don't i wouldn't recommend this i wouldn't to be honest um the cream absolutely go ahead pick it up i would love to see how this works with a gel actually too um so i don't know who knows how i use these up but this will definitely be gone in 2023 and fingers crossed this too um this is perfect for when i work at home because i don't like it so for the one or two days that i need to run out or have you know things that i need to do this is perfect but any other time no i love the way the pure honey line smells um i love the moisture that it has on this but they didn't miss they missed the mark for me with the whole yeah. oh before i go i did want to tell you guys something that was really weird and surprising to me was that these two products took a very long time to dry do you hear me a very long time to dry so i did my hair saturday and i took my hair out this morning and my roots were still a bit wet um which was interesting because like i said it is a mousse i knew that it might not dry as quickly because this is a a thicker cream situation but it took a lot longer than i anticipated for it to dry so um but that was just at the roots and honestly i can't tell that much of a difference but yeah y'all so that is the end of today's video let me know if you have tried either of these products from the pure honey line and let me know your thoughts on them because i am very curious i have a couple mousses from cream and nature that i want to use up because they're they just don't hit for me i've tried other mousses that really just definitely stand out in comparison to this or the cream and nature mousses in general so yeah y'all let me know um your thoughts on my hair and all of that down below but yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye